Hi, I'm Joan and this is Joan's Point of Plate. Welcome to my channel. I would like to start by saying a huge thank you to Edie over at Edie's WW Kitchen for hosting this collaboration. The theme of this collaboration is low point meals in a low point day. So I have for you a low point breakfast, a low point lunch, a low point dinner, and a low point snack. It just goes to show you that low points does not have to mean boring food. After you're done watching my video, please check the description box below and there are links to all the other channels that are participating in this collaboration. Go over and check out what they're eating for their low point days. If you like my video, please leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section how you found my channel if you're not already one of my subscribers. And if you like my content, please smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. I try to upload about four or five times a week. I do cook with me's, I do grocery hauls, and sometimes I just chat. So without further ado, let's get on to my day of low point eating. Okay, so to start the breakfast frittata, we have six eggs in a bowl. We're just gonna whisk those up. And then we're gonna add in whatever veggies you like. I just use whatever I had extra of in my fridge, which happened to be chopped up grape tomatoes and yellow, red, and orange bell pepper. So we're just gonna to toss those in. Give them a whisk. And then I have a half a cup of Kraft fat-free cheese. I'm not a huge fan of the fat-free if it's like sprinkled on something or whatever, but in something like this or in a casserole, it gives it that cheesy taste and not plastic taste. So we're just gonna throw that in, mix that up. I have a nine inch deep dish pie pan. I always like to use the deep dish. You don't necessarily have to. I have it sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. We are just gonna pour this in and put it in a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Or until a knife, insert it near the center, comes out clean. And that's how easy that is. So here is my breakfast frittata. It is zero smart points. The frittata makes four servings at zero smart points per serving. I also have three slices of Canadian bacon for one freestyle smart point. And I have my homemade fat-free Greek yogurt with some berries in it also for zero freestyle smart points. So this breakfast is one freestyle smart points and I was able to get a serving of dairy in there with that. I will be back and show you my low point lunch. It is mid-morning, and while I'm getting some work done, I'm going to have a little snack of a bowl of cantaloupe and watermelon for zero smart points. Okay, it is time to make our low point lunch. For lunch, we are gonna have egg roll in a bowl, and I will show you how quick and easy it is to make. I'm gonna turn my burner on to medium high, put about a teaspoon of olive oil, maybe a little bit less into the pan. This is a good way to get in the healthy fats that we all need. I'm allergic to avocado, so I can't use those, so I tend to use a lot of olive oil. I am gonna let the olive oil heat up just a bit, and then I'm going to add in an entire bag of the coleslaw mix, the tricolored with the cabbage, or actually this isn't the tricolored, this is just the cabbage and green cabbage and shredded carrots. I like the tricolored with the purple cabbage in it too, but they did not have that. So we're just going to add that in, mix it all around, and just let it cook down till it's soft, but still has a tiny bit of crunch. And that will probably take about 15 minutes or so. So I'm just going to leave that, take that big old leaf out and let that cook down. After about five minutes, I'm going to add a little bit of squeezed minced ginger. 
and a little bit of garlic and about two tablespoons of soy sauce and let it continue cooking. So five minutes in, I'll add that stuff and then let it cook for about another 10 minutes. Okay, it is all cooked down nicely. I took six ounces of cooked shrimp and added those into the pan. Of course, you can make this with um, ground turkey, ground chicken, or um, pork sausage or turkey sausage, anything you like. Usually, I think it is made with ground pork or chicken sausage or something like that. I like shrimp, so that's what I make it with. And I'm just going to heat those shrimp through. And then I'm gonna add a quarter of a teaspoon, that's all you need, of sesame oil. It just gives it a really nice flavor. And you only need a tiny bit of it. Mix it in real well. And there you have it. There is the egg roll in a bowl. And you can have all that for you can have half of this, I'm sorry, for one freestyle smart point. That is a lot of food. So I am going to let that finish heating through. I am going to make up some Trader Joe's chicken cilantro wontons, six of those for two points, and I'll show you my plate. This is my three point lunch. Egg roll in a bowl is one point, and six of the mini Trader Joe's chicken cilantro wontons are two points. And of course, I have my water. So there is my three-point lunch. And here is dinner. I have vegetable and chicken kebabs, a shrimp skewer, and three quarters of a cup of rice pilaf. The rice pilaf is five freestyle smart points. The chicken skewers and the shrimp skewer, I'm going to count as one because I did brush them with olive oil. Probably not even enough to be a point, but just to be on the safe side. So this is my delicious six point dinner. I am ending my night with a three point snack. It is a one point chocolate mug cake. Then I used two points worth of coconut powdered peanut butter and a squirt of Ready Whip on the top. I like to, it was a definitely a very low point day for me and I needed to hit my 13 points. That's why I'm having this delicious three point dessert. So there you have it, my day of low point eating. All the recipes are linked in the description box below, right on my website. You can just click right on the link. It'll take you right there and you can find the uh, vegetable frittata, the egg roll in a bowl, and everybody knows how to make kebab. So there's really no recipe for that, but also the one point chocolate mug cake. I normally only eat that as is, but because I was trying to hit at least my 13 points, that's why I threw the PB2 in there. So I hope you enjoyed my day of low point eating. I hope it gave you some ideas on how you can eat a low point day and still have yummy, delicious food. It was very nice meeting you and have a fantastic day. Thanks again, Edie, for hosting this really fun collab. I can't wait to watch all the other videos.